Good morning, Sunbeams. It's Sister Daniels. I miss you and I can't wait till we're together again. Do you remember last week we talked about Samuel, the Lamanite prophet, how he got up on the wall and preached to the people and told them all about Jesus before Jesus was even born? He told about his life and about his death and about his resurrection. And we talked about Jesus coming to the Americas after he was resurrected. Well, this week we're going to talk about another prophet who also told about Jesus before Jesus was born. He also taught about Heavenly Father and had a really cool experience that we're going to talk about. King Benjamin was old and he wanted to speak to the people in the land of Zarahemla before he died. So he called all the people from the whole country to come together and he wanted to preach to them. He asked them to come to the temple, but because there were so many people, he couldn't teach them in the walls of the temple. So King Benjamin had a tower built, a very tall tower, kind of like Samuel the Lamanite on the wall. And King Benjamin climbed all the way to the top of the tower, which must have been very hard for a person who was as old as he was, but it was important for him to tell the people about Jesus. He wanted them to know about the gospel. So he climbed to the top of the tower, and the first thing that he taught to them was about serving one another and being kind to one another. And this is what he said in the scripture in Mosiah 2.17. When ye are in the service of your fellow beings, ye are only in the service of your God. King Benjamin also said that an angel appeared to him and told him some very important things. This is what the angel said. This is what it says in Mosiah 3.3. And he said unto me, he's talking about the angel, and he said unto me, Awake, and hear the words which I shall tell thee. For behold, I am come to declare unto you glad tidings of great joy. Two of my favorite words, glad and joy. We're so glad that the Savior came and it makes us feel joy in our hearts. So King Benjamin told them, that the angel appeared to him. Here's King Benjamin and here's the angel. The angel appeared to him and this is what the angel told him. The angel said Jesus was going to be born and that his mother's name would be Mary. He said that Jesus would heal the sick. He said that Jesus would suffer for all of the things that we have done wrong. He said that Jesus would be crucified on the cross. He said that Jesus would be resurrected and the third day he would rise again. He said that there would be prophets that would talk about Jesus and teach us about the gospel. And we have a prophet today, President Nelson, and he teaches us about Jesus. He said that Jesus is the way that we can be saved and live with Heavenly Father. And he also said that the gospel would be taught to all the world. Do you remember when we talked about missionaries that are going to teach the gospel and how you can be a missionary? All of these things he taught about Jesus. One of the other things that he taught was that we should be grateful for all of the things that Heavenly Father has given us. And this is what he says in the scriptures. We should render th all thanks and praise with our whole soul, which has power to possess, to that God who created you and has kept and preserved you and has caused that ye should rejoice and has granted that ye should live in peace one with another. And this is what he says that Heavenly Father asks us to do in return. And behold, all that he requires of you is to keep his commandments. And if we keep his commandments, we will have glad tidings of great joy. So I'd like to sing a song to you about being grateful for some of the things that Heavenly Father has given us. And this is one of my favorite primary songs. Whenever I hear the song of a bird or look at the blue, blue sky, whenever I feel the rain on my face or the wind as it rushes by, whenever I touch a velvet rose or walk by a lilac tree. 
I'm glad that I live in this beautiful world Heavenly Father created for me. He gave me my eyes that I might see the color of butterfly wings. He gave me my ears that I might hear the magical sound of things. He gave me my life, my mind, my heart. I thank him reverently for all his creations of which I'm a part. Yes, I know Heavenly Father loves me. I want you to know that I know that Heavenly Father does love me and he loves you. He loves all of us. I want you to know that he did send his son, Jesus Christ, to be our example and to make sacrifices for us and to show us the way to get back to Heavenly Father. I want you to know that if we live the commandments and follow what Heavenly Father has asked us to do, we will have glad tidings of great joy. And I leave this with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.